Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and uh, sorry for taking a little break there. I, I watched this really cool story about this uh, these people that found a dog that had been shot six times. The muzzle was taped shut. It had a broken leg, and they took it to the vet, and it recovered. It was given to a family in Wisconsin and is learning to walk, even though they thought because one of the bullets was in the spine and they were able to get it out they thought maybe the dog would never ever walk but it's actually starting to walk this it was just whew, i love animals um yeah anyways <laughs> sorry got got a little bit ex you know it was, it was a burst, burst of happiness so uh this is, review is of the be quiet silent wings pro 4 um 120 millimeter pwm fan and make sure you always know which model you need. This is the BL09, and I, I wish they would not use gray on black. I wish they would use white on black, but it's uh, BL098. Okay, and uh, this fan is not for everybody. It is very powerful, which is, you know, great. However, um, it is also an expensive fan, and it meets specific needs. So um, unless you have need of a fan with this kind of power, and there are other fans that have this kind of power that are cheaper and don't have the extra features of this fan. But this fan comes with um, radiator bolts and regular bolts for fans. It's it also should come with pins, but I seem to have misplaced the pins. But uh, it comes with three sets of corners, the regular corners like this, and then these two other kinds of corners, one for pins. So the three kinds are for regular corners uh, with the fan bolts, uh, radiator bolts, and the pins. And just wanted to demonstrate it's not... I, the mechanism for removing these is a little bit frustrating. So basically what I have to do is hold it against my body, get my thumb on it like this. I don't know if you can see very well. Get my thumb on the corner, squeeze the, the releases on both sides, and then push out. That's the only way I've been able to find that allows me to actually remove these things. Because if you're trying to push these tabs in with the releases at the same time that you're pulling out it just works against you so you need two hands if you don't have two hands it, you, it's going to be a challenge if you don't have two hands and you can still remove these I would love to see a video of that because that would be very impressive because I can't do it um, so yeah that's the mechanism that's what it looks like and it just snaps back in place the, putting it on is very easy taking it off is not so as you can see, it's got the uh, normal rippling of the blades like all uh, Be Quiet fans do. And this is right here. Oops, I'm doing it the wrong side. Stop turning. There. The um, That is the switch for changing the speed. This offers three speeds. In fact, <clears throat> most fans that have a speed switch offer three speeds. If I were to choose between this and, say, the Fantex T30 or the Silverstone FHS uh, 120X or the Superflower Mega Cool, um, and I didn't have special needs, uh, I would probably choose one of those, not this one. Um, the I think the th of the three of those, I'm not really sure, but I think the three of, the, of those... The Mega Cools are the cheapest, but... Okay, so the, the cheapest is the Silverstone FHS 120X at about $28, and then the Fantex T30 is around $30, um, and that is wider than normal. Um, it's like 30, which is why it's called a T30, and millimeters thick. So you have to make sure that your <clears throat> the position you want to use it in has enough space for that. But the Silverstone is actually 38 millimeters thick. So that's one of the reasons why it's so powerful uh, with both of them. However, uh, it's $32. Uh, so uh, for the 
Wait, no, sorry, twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight dollars. So thirty-two for uh, for the Super Flower, uh, about thirty for the Fantex T30, and then uh, twenty-eight for the. Um, now my brain just lost itself. Uh, oh, the the Silverstone. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going off track again. Sorry about that, guys. It happens, you know. I, I get lost sometimes when I'm trying to present information. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and listen to this before I start rambling on about something else. Okay, I think that is about as... I've got this on... You know what? I'm going to put this on the slowest speed, so we'll start with that, which should allow me to turn it down even more. The higher the, sp the, mi the speed range is, the lower you it can go with some fans, so I'm not sure about this one. It seems to be about the same. Okay. Oh, no, it's stopping... All right, let's get it going again. <clears throat> Turn it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. All right. Very quiet right now. Here's our harmonic resonance. Okay, so that's the low speed. Now let's go ahead and turn it back down. And I'll try it on the medium speed. Sorry, I'm having an argument with my fan controller because it keeps on sliding around. I really need to mount it somewhere. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. Okay, we got it on medium speed now. A little bit of noise, low hum. Harmonic resonance there. Another one. That's kind of loud, don't you think? For a fan that's called Be Quiet brand you'd think it would be quieter. Now, whereas on low speed, you're not going to hear it in the case. You're going to hear this in the case. Now, let's go to the, uh, the highest speed setting. OK. 
Okay. And this one's got more noise than the medium and low settings, of course. Harmonic resonance. another one and you're definitely going to hear this one in the case when it gets to the maximum speed now obviously you're not necessarily going to get to the maximum speed <laughs> but you know just so you know you know you always got to keep this stuff in mind because sometimes when you're listening, it's easy to forget, oh, well, my fan isn't necessarily going to get up to maximum speed, so maybe I don't need to worry about it. And maybe you do. It depends on your cooling situation and your CPU and so on. So, yeah, um, it's a very good fan. And it has to work, uh, you know, because it's only 25 millimeters thick, it does have to work harder than some of the other fans out there. Um, but... Given that it produces five millimeters of static pressure, it's, yeah, that's, that's the reason why. I mean, on maximum speed, it's going to go up to five millimeters of static, uh, of water or static pressure. And that's in order to try to compete with the T30, the Mega Cool, the FHS uh, 120X. There's just no other way around it. Um, so, unless unless that noise bothers you, this is, you know, a good choice, although it is an expensive fan. Um, in fact, of the others that I mentioned, this is the most expensive at around 30, 35 maybe, including shipping. So, yeah, think, think carefully. Um, obviously, you can use this on anything. I mean, this is a very versatile fan. Uh, it's designed to be very versatile to fit many needs. So if you have any needs and you're expecting to be mm, changing its job de description, so to speak, it's a great choice. And let's look at the specs, though. Right, so the Silent Wings Pro uh, 4 BL098. It's a 120-millimeter fan. And $35.12 is how much I paid with shipping. Certified CE United, or sorry, Underwriter Laboratories E360596 UKCA ROCA, uh, ROHS TUV and we <laughs> made in China 120 by 25 millimeters, 300,000 hours of life, five year warranty, pretty impressive, 240 grams, nine blades, 105 millimeters between the holes. And then the minimum speeds, well, actually, the maximum speeds for the three uh, different settings are 1,800, 2,500, and 3,000 RPMs, respectively. 83.9 CFMs or 142.5 CMHs of, of airflow, 5.31 millimeters of static pressure, 36.9 decibels, 53 centimeter long cable, no daisy chaining but sleeved, PWM, fluid dynamic bearings, 12 volts ranging from 7 to 13.2, 3.6 watts, 0.3 amps, and it does have indicators of direction of rotation and flow. It uh, turns in a clockwise direction, comes with fan bolts, rad bolts, pins with uh, washers, and uh, the corner cushions, which are also hole cushions, and the speed switch that's built in and if you buy um if you buy these you get a set of three different options for the corners which theoretically serve di uh, well i guess i shouldn't say that anyways thank you for watching this video also thank you to uh, lawrence abrams at bleepingcomputer.com for allowing me to 
use his forum to promote my videos and thus I promote his website uh, which is a great website with lots of resources for tech people and for people who have computers be it if you need help with hardware or software or even with malware they have lots of resources they have also got lots of news on their website about the tech world if you would be interested in me presenting some of that news here on this channel would you please let me know um, I already have permission from Lawrence Abrams to do that I'm just not sure if that would be something of interest to people so I haven't done it yet um, but yeah so please like subscribe share let people know about my channel if you think it's worth it if you don't think it's worth it and you want to give me feedback please do so constructively in a video or in the community tab um, if you can't be constructive and civil and logical about it then you probably should just be quiet because I have a low tolerance for people who like to troll which is to say if you're gonna be a jerk I will not put up with it so thank you very much again I hope you have a wonderful day